Paham. Great, come in, sit down, make yourself at home. Congratulations, you Thank won. Thank you so much. It was very tense, yes, complicated game. Yes, yeah, I really needed this win. Yeah, we are, you know, I have two tabs open. One is uh, the, the games, one is the live ratings. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Keimer also won. Hmm. So how it will change? How much do you get? Like two and a half? About three. Yes. Three? Okay. I'm not sure. It was 25.70. Okay. Yeah. yeah 2.8 something. I'm not something. sure. Yeah, I'm something not like that. Yeah. Not sure. I wish you each uh, decimal point <laughs> that you will get. <laughs> yes. So then... And uh, probably my hopes are still alive. Yeah, absolutely. So is Wesley qualified or not? Or does he compete for the rating too, Wesley? Uh, Wesley, I think uh, he's also competing for rating. Okay, okay, yeah. So it starts with Wesley and then all the way down. Karyakin won't play, Anand won't play enough games, yeah? Yes. So, okay. Yeah, still, still some way to go, but it all depends on how many games, yeah? Yes. But no matter how many games you get, you need to win. That's the important. Yes. And you did your homework today. Okay, yes. so... Would you be so kind and tell us a little bit about the game? Okay. Um, did you see with the engine already? No. How was your feeling? Correct everything or? No, I was so nervous for this game. Yeah. Okay, how can I move? Oh, um, like this. You, yeah, you could move there. I could also try to give you a uh, keyboard. Yeah. It's okay? Also, you can uh, just um, scroll the wheel, you know? It's okay, I think. Yeah. Uh, here... Uh, I didn't want to play knight c6 first mm -hmm. because knight c6 there is a line of d4, cd4, cd4, d6, mm -hmm. bishop c4, yes, uh, d take e5 mm -hmm. and bishop take d5 mm -hmm. and queen d5, knight c3. Mm -hmm. I think uh, some kind of drawish line which I didn't want to enter because, okay, he, he never played uh, this all open before, so I thought maybe he prepared some forcing line to just make draw. Yeah. So I played just, uh, start with d6 to at least uh, trick him in the move orders, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe he was ready to play this position, I don't know. cd4, uh, d5, d5, knight c6, okay, here I get this, the position without bishop d5 option. Mm -hmm. So at least I mean, in my oh, mind yeah. I got some benefits. <laughs> so uh, here I played, I, I played bishop e6 a couple of times. Here yeah, I, new move. You know this? I, I, I yeah. knew this move, bishop e6, castle g6, yes? Mm -hmm. yeah, I knew this move, but... Uh, Not I saying thought, it's good. I, I mean, it's playable, it's but playable. I thought if he's well prepared, then mm -hmm. I might be in problem. So, and I only knew bishop e6. I didn't know any single move in, in this position. Ah, you, don't, you don't have to. You're such a good player. It's just freestyle. <laughs> yes, I thought, okay, knight, uh, knight b6, I was thinking, okay, it didn't make so much sense to me because after, I mean, knight d8, this knight on b6 uh, looked stupid to me, like mm. bishop d3, knight c3. And this knight on b6 is not on the game, so mm. it was my problem. So I thought for a long time, I guess, and I played this knight before. So you're just inventing uh, theory of the board that already exists. Yes, <laughs> yes. I played and knight still before. he's number 12 in the world. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I, I played knight before and my point was, uh, it was very like uh, dark memory in my mind that it was uh, something I remembered with queen b3, e6, mm -hmm. uh, castle and knight a5, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. And uh, bishop d7, bishop b5, and some move here, like uh, maybe just take or, I mean, some move here. I, I remember knight this six. setup mm -hmm. with this knight, mm -hmm. and I just went for knight before. I yeah. didn't know what to play. But uh, after that before, I think the worst thing happened. He immediately played castle, like with uh, spending like less than a minute he played castle it's and I was theory. in shock there's hundreds of games yes I knew that it's theory but I, I was in shock because uh, I mean when you open and play castle you cannot really take and play knight c2 because he's in preparation and he will out prepare you like very very easy and he will not play it if it's bad 
Yes, but he will course. play it if it's at least a draw. But yeah. you don't even want to draw. And I don't know anything, so yeah. probably I cannot even make yeah. a draw. You can take on a three then, and it's equalish. Mm, okay, but no, you I, don't need my, that. My, no, my my problem was after knight two. I mean, he mentioned knight a three after the game, but I was not knight sure about knight c three. Yeah. 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 What if you just knight c three and won knight d five or knight b five? Yeah, and over the board when you don't know absolutely. any opening here, it's just. Really close to play to enter Maybe this. Maybe you can go bishop g4, rook c8 or something. Yeah, I play okay. Queen d1, I think it's fourth move. Mm. Like, I was also thinking about bishop e6. What? Yeah, but, I mean, bishop f5 is obviously not work because after queen b3, e6, in the same position, I cannot go back to d7, so I have a big problem. Uh, I mean, bishop e6 maybe is an option, but I didn't like it so much. But you're bishop on f8, the poor guy. Yes, and then I wanted some h6, g5, maybe. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe some work. h6, g5, yeah. But it doesn't look great to me. So I spent a lot of time and I took and then uh, rook d1. And after bishop g4, I mean, I was lucky that he immediately decided to play knight c3. And knight c3 is uh, okay, it's probably still equal, but it's not accurate. Because I was... I mean, uh, this position looks fine for black. Yes. I mean, it shouldn't be that bad. Maybe it's slightly better if you analyze it engine, but for over the board. Yeah. Yes, but over the board, I didn't feel no. that I'm worse. But e6, I was really worried about e6. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to take, like with bishop or pawn. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, just play for these wicked squares. Mm -hmm. I think it's possible option. I don't know what Angel yeah. says, but I was worried about e6. But after mm -hmm. knight c3, I was really happy with my mm -hmm. position after e6. I think it's just very nice control over the uh, center with two knights, and also this pawn is weak. I mean, uh, whenever I take on f3, I think black is just fine. I, I can even go knight a6 after a3. I don't believe that these pawns are mm -hmm. worse than this uh, yeah. structure in the center. So mm -hmm. I think it's just possible to play this position in many uh, for on many options. So bishop f4 was not correct move, I guess. So maybe bishop e2 is possible. Just let I me mean, take take with bishop and this b7 pawn is hanging. I was thinking maybe I can play bishop e7 like sure. a3, knight a6, like b4 maybe knight c7. Yeah, could also maybe go into c2. I could, but uh, with bishop on e2, I'm not sure. Did you? Because yeah, I don't want to give up this bishop for nothing, like no, no, uh, no uh, for no bad structure for white. I mean, uh, I think with bishop on f3, he might even give up the pawn and yeah. uh, have some two yeah. bishops and yeah. good space on the uh, on the board. So I didn't like to enter this position. So I wanted to play knight mm -hmm. a6. Okay, because uh, now if you take, then I mean you are doing something wrong because mm -hmm. you wasted at least one tempo for it. And okay, still this pawn is weak, and I mean, rook b8 is coming. Black is absolutely fine. Yeah. So he played bishop f4. Okay, I decided to took it immediately and then play g5. Uh, after g5, I was thinking about knight e4, bishop e7, bishop g5. I was a little bit worried about this position after h4, h6, f4. I was a little bit worried. Hg5, hg5. But I, I thought, okay, the, of the king, yeah. I, I mean, these pawns are looks dangerous a bit. But I thought, okay, I can go rook. I mean, knight c two maybe, and then uh, knight d four. It looks very weird position. I mean, he can also go king g two and rook h one. Okay. okay. Uh, I evaluated this position like very slightly better for black, mm -hmm. but but not that much really. I was afraid of. And okay, he uh, I che uh, checked his games. He's a tactical player, mm -hmm. so I thought he might go for this. But uh, then I understood. Okay, he's a bit scared, over the world because uh, he didn't get what he wants from opening, mm -hmm. and I was playing very uh, confidently. Mm -hmm. Why not take on g5 first before you go for the piece? Oh, no, no. Ninety uh, four bishop e seven. Oh wait, wait. Uh, yes. Bishop g five. Bishop g five. Oh, bishop g5. Sure. Take. Rook g8. Because then 
he doesn't have the attacking knight. Mm, maybe. He's just winning, no? He yeah, might be. You could even take on e5. Knight e5? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So. Right. In vain. Over nothing. But uh, it's good to be safe, yeah? Yeah, actually, be sure g5. I can take on g5. Bro. Hmm. Yeah, looks good for me. Okay, he played bishop g3. I think h5 was very important move. Like it's uh, for black, it's very important not to show his hand. Yeah. <laughs> like to, uh, you want to play bishop e7 or g7. Like uh -huh. this h5 will always keep white thinking about this. And yes. it's, I think very important. We keep because, you stay flexible with h5 Yeah, I first. stay uh, fl flexible with h5 because I still like this bishop on a faith. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, uh, like, this, uh, it covered this square on d6, and uh, I might go bishop e7 if he goes some uh, another move. Um, but, okay, he decided to go for... Like, if he go knight e4, I obviously want bishop e7. Mm -hmm. This is yes. obvious. And, uh, like, I was thinking about this was uh, like, h3, uh, knight c2, rook c1, knight d4, king g2, and a long castle. And I think in this position it's very important that black doesn't play h4, because mm -hmm. I have to keep this h4 square for my knight, so mm -hmm. I have always knight f5. And, uh, okay, I w I'm threatening knight g3 and knight e5. Mm -hmm. And if you play bishop h2, then I, I play oh, yeah. knight h4. So I think it's very important not to play h4. Very and subtle. just And yeah, and just play h4 in the best moment. Mm -hmm. So, I would, yeah, I was really calculating so much just to make everything work for black. Yeah, absolutely. That's our question. If he <laughs> would have played um, h4 rather than h3 instead of knight e4? Here. It's just, ba it's just bad, yeah? h4. Yeah. Take... I, there's no engine, it's just me. I'm yeah, bishop, it's bishop okay. takes. Bishop e7. I don't Take f4, knight e4. Is that crazy? Take, take f4. Yeah, I mean, the problem is rook g8, and rook g4. King, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, the problem is rook g8, yeah. rook g4. Yeah. And if you go this way, then the king is weak. And if mm -hmm. you go that way, then the pawn can be yeah. even queen. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I was not sure you can oh, play like this. I mean, h3, logical move. I play bishop g7 now. Because mm -hmm. uh, with pawn on g5, h5, now I can um, take on the e5 always. And um, okay, in this position, whenever I take on g3, he has to take with f pawn. Mm -hmm. But with pawn on h2, he could mm -hmm. take with h pawn. And mm -hmm. like he has solid uh, yeah. structure here. but. He cannot really enter this position with pawn f3, g3, h3 because it looks weird and I think all these pawns will be weak in the endgame. So, okay, he played a3, mm -hmm. I guess. Yes, I think so. Yeah, knight c2. This was my, actually, this was my uh, trap for him to just play because I think he could just normally play king g2 mm -hmm. and he's not even worse. I, I mean, he... Black is, of course, more comfortable after rook d8, knight f5. Yeah. But uh, white is also not worse. He can play some f4 at some moment. But uh, <laughs> it was nice that he immediately came to this trap. Played immediately knight, knight knight, Yeah, he immediately played knight b5. He and I think he yeah, just completely missed this h4 move, which is, I think, just a very strong move. I happened to be downstairs right at the moment after he played knight b5 and he looked so happy and confident. Yes, yeah, he looked so happy and after h4 he was like, he co I think he completely missed, I mean, not even considered this move. Uh, but to, because, took you 10 uh, minutes. No, because the point is, uh, I, mean, I was thinking just to make, to sure, make sure, just yeah. to make sure about everything. Yeah. Uh, and also, okay, I, I, I thought I have good position, I didn't want to mess this up. Mm -hmm. So. I was thinking maybe rook d8 is option. I mean, rook d8 should be also fine for, for me, but mm -hmm. I thought, why to play this? Like, I can play this, like knight d6, yeah. king d7, knight b7, rook b8, I mean, sorry, rook b8, and knight c5, just bishop take e5, and this mm -hmm. pawn is uh, weak. I mean, this should be nice for black, but 
I thought uh, this H4 just gives zero risk ending yeah. for for black, and uh, I know myself like when I have the opposite color bishop with uh, potential in the position, I can uh, win this. I won many games like this, so. I think it fits my style to just yeah. go for this opposite color bishop so and play long game. Yes. yes. So would you would you say that in opposite color bishop endings where you have the advantage, you're the second best in the world after Carlsen? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> because he's so good at this. It's hard to say, but I think I'm very good. I'm just uh, I've won like many many games, mm -hmm. uh, even with equal pawns, mm -hmm. not even pawn up. Mm -hmm. I have my many games. Um, okay, it's not good if I mention the games. You can check. You can go and check. But I, when I, I mention it, my opponent will feel bad. Oh no, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, it's better yeah. not to say. But uh, so I everyone who wants to learn opposite colored bishop endings, how to squeeze many, half many points, games. yeah, many, many Arham's many. games, and also Carlsen yes. has many examples. I yes. show them to my students, squeezing water out of yes. the stone. Many, many yes. examples. Yes, and also I was. Like uh, till till I get twenty seven hundred, I was only playing knight f three g three as white, and uh, in this knight f three g three, believe me, you get so many opposite color bishop with bishop on g two and bishop on g seven, and I was always like uh, taking upper hand in this kind of position, mm -hmm. so I feel very confident when it comes to okay. opposite color bishop, and I know the potential of attack very well in these yes. uh, positions, I mean okay. with queens of course, not so everyone. Really Listen, play the Reti, go uh, buy my course on the Reti. Yes. I have a website, chessamy.com, and I have a course, the Reti Repertoire. Yes. I don't think there are games of you, but I also start knight f3, g3, bishop d g2, then see what happens. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. okay, h4. I think he could play bishop h2, but it's very weird if it works. Or may maybe, maybe what he missed was, um, I thought, um, Knight of three, king g two, knight h two, knight c seven, king e seven, knight a eight, bishop e five. Out of nowhere, bishop yes. is perfect. Yes, yes, bishop e five. Uh, uh, here I was thinking maybe he can take, take, and bishop h two. But I really couldn't believe it. Yeah. Oh no no here is no yeah here is not even working because of bishop take e five. But it's, what's the problem with knight of three and then? Knight of three, I was thinking maybe king g two, knight h two, rook e one. Oh. Yes. <laughs> but okay, and I mean the rook d8, uh, rook c2. But <laughs> okay, I thought like okay, anyway I will go for it. Yeah. Uh, like, but yeah, now I see even bishop e5 is uh, even much more yeah. easier way to convert. Okay, he took um, and uh, here you again think for okay he was already in very bad position. It's very sad to play with white this position. I think uh, his problem is he cannot really enter this position because uh, after f5 this uh, rook is trapped here. So mm, after yeah. take bishop mm -hmm. f6 and king f7. Yeah. And uh, so he cannot play rook g4. And, and if so he that's why he didn't take on g3 but... If he goes mm, to d7... Uh, rook d7. No, I mean take, take, then rook d7. Oh, wait. Uh, take... Ah, h3 is also hanging. Rook okay, uh, it. Yeah, rook h3. Yeah, yeah. rook h3. Yes. And okay, let's say you play some of like rook e4, then I'm very happy with this position. Yeah. Because this c7 is where it's protected by bishop, and next move is rook d8 and bishop f4. Is, it's just winning problem. Yeah, I think it's just absolutely. Extra pawn, yes. plus weaknesses, plus and activity. Plus amazing bishop on yeah. f4. I think it's just off. Shit. Okay. Um, so. What did he play? Oh, he played bishop e5 and rook e4. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it was not a bad try. No, this was decent. Yeah, it was a good try. But uh, yeah, rook h4 is accurate. obviously, yeah, obviously, I think, only move to win. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't see really how to win after rook d8, bishop f1. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yes. Uh, maybe it's winning, but uh, when you, you have some accurate move, I think you have to play. Because I, I calculated in this moment till b5. Uh, after mm -hmm. f4, oh, b5. bishop h6, yeah. king f3, rook d8, bishop e2 or f1, doesn't matter. I play mm -hmm. b5. Because What's the point? Yeah, the the whole point of playing b5 is I want rook d4 after bishop b5. But instead of b5, if I play rook d4, you can play rook c4. Oh. So b5, bishop b5, rook ah. d4, then rook c4, I 
queen. So it was very important for me wow. to find this b5. I saw this from the distance. Yeah, I saw it from rook h4. Because if I if you don't calculate it, then you you make it draw position. I mm. didn't after yesterday experience. I didn't want <laughs> to spoil another yeah. <laughs> winning position. So I was uh, focusing very to focused. just yeah very focused just to make no mistake. Here. Okay, probably rook d2 is also winning, but I really didn't like this, and this was so annoying for me. This f5 move. Mm -hmm. Okay, e f5 and and some move like rook c7. B3, but the the whole point for me was like you really want this pawn on F4 mm. and E5 and yes. have these two pawns mm. connected because in this position, I mean, mm. with opposite color bishop doesn't make so much sense yeah. for me. Like you might have three extra pawns, but they're but all in F file. Yeah, they're all in F file, and I mean, this king is also his king is very sad. This bishop is not going to the game. I didn't like this position to enter, so. Uh, because after bishop f1, uh, there's obviously no rook d2. Like, uh, because, okay, he can also play like f5 immediately. Mm -hmm. like take and rook c4, just take on h4. I think white is uh, holding here. So, yeah, after b5, we cannot do any of these things. Because his problem is, uh, next move is rook d4, and after f5, no rook f4 check. I just want these two pawns, and I... I think I'm winning the game, so mm -hmm. uh, he has to find something brilliant to uh, survive here, which is not possible in my mind, because after mm -hmm. rook c7, rook d4, rook a7, yeah, I calculated till this moment, uh, and yeah, I saw rook e4, as I thought, okay, engine says rook e5 is a mistake, I don't know, but uh, rook e4, I calculated, I think it's just absolutely winning, because I play f5, bishop d4, rook e1, f4, f3, mm -hmm. like, it's coming by force, I yeah. didn't see a single plan for him, just mm -hmm. not to allow me to do it, and uh, this pawn's probably uh, slower than mine, because, like, uh, for example, a4 is not possible, because mm -hmm. I take, so b4, let's say I want, uh, one, two, three, four, five moves, mm -hmm. and, is like uh, one, like moving the rook is two, three, four, five, and but his he can't pawn go is to on b6. The bishop is controlling. Uh, yeah, b6. also, yeah, and so he has to go to b8, and then uh, let's say put the pawn on b7, but then I already take on f1. Like I calculated this position, I thought it's absolutely winning, so I just yeah. didn't want to waste any time just to play rook e4. Okay, we played b4, bishop d4, I think. I mean, even rook e3 is option here. Mm -hmm. Like for next move, I can play rook e3. I mean, it doesn't matter that this rook is protected. I just want after king f2, rook take h3 and rook take a3. Yeah. I think with three pawns, it's obviously winning. Okay, rook h5 is... It's, in, it's losing at this Yeah, point. but it, I mean, it's losing. Yeah. There's nothing to discuss about in this Easy, position. obvious. <laughs> yeah, this is... Okay. <laughs> our, you know, our average uh, viewers are like 1,700. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. But yeah, I, someone researched. You are now on 2743.3. Yes. And Vincent is on 2743.2. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I think, uh, I'm not sure if Vincent plays any tournament. But I will play one good tournament, so I think I will have my chances to qualify. Which tournament is that? I mean, maybe not, better not to Oh, no, don't tell. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, uh, the organizers, they, should, they didn't publish it. Mm, okay, so, yeah, just to be on the yeah, safe side. Yes, yes. Because that was uh, exactly the question. Fubar was asking. If he's going, if you're going to play uh, more tournaments this month to reach uh, yeah, candidates. I think this tournament you can call it like road to the candidates yeah. because I s I know many players that they want to qualify will play this tournament so it will be very very fighting games like yes. huge tournament I believe it will be one of the best tournaments of like last ten years because I think uh, qualifying for the candidates was never that important. Mm. Not the best by uh, by rating, but the best in fighting chess. I interesting. The best by fighting chess, as well as the best by rating, as the best in feed circuit. I think everything. Oh, the will, best by rating. Too. Yeah, okay. I think everything will determine in this wow. position. Yes. Okay, in this uh, in tournament. Yes. And then Fubar was asking um, if you will play a match against Keimer, for example. I uh, I he like got the to, idea himself. Yeah, I like to play a match against Keimer, but the point is, I already agreed with hmm. uh, with the. Uh, the, this tournament in December, so I, I think there's. your word. I think there's no time for me to. Yeah. But uh, it's pity that he doesn't play this tournament. 
yeah, or maybe he plays him, it yeah. and, and I don't know, but yeah, yeah, it's pity for him and I think he has to find some tournaments to play, like maybe this uh, sieges open something, I mean, he has to try his chance. Mm-hmm. I'm also because we are both very young and Sitches I think not very strong this year. It's not strong, but uh, okay, he's very strong player. You can score nine out of nine something. Okay. And we, I think with nine out of nine is only chance nice. for him to qualify. <laughs> but also, I think he's able to do it. I yeah. believe in uh, on him and so much. Yes. He's a good player, definitely. He played very well today too and won. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, I had one more question. But I forgot what I wanted to ask you. Oh yeah, how was your breakfast? Very good. Did you go to the uh, cafeteria to the breakfast place? Yes, it was time? very nice. Uh, no, no outside breakfast. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, but uh, whoever watch us, mm, they can try to eat some snow with honey. Eat snow it's, with honey. You heard it here first. Yeah, it's like it's the best. a recommendation, recommendation from one of the best players in the world. <laughs> there you go. Absolutely. Yeah, just uh, take some snow with honey and you will enjoy it. In German, um, in Germany, there's uh, there's a thing called water ice. Mm. It's just water with flavor into the freezer, and then when it's hot, you yes. uh, you suck it, and uh, like a lollipop. So it's basically the same thing, except natural. Natural yes, is always better. I think natural is always, and also it's free. Yeah, <laughs> it's free too. Yes. Yeah, so you heard it here first. Snow is the new culinary recommendation from yes. Iran. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. All right, thank you very much for um, okay. guiding us through the game. I could thank feel you. that you were tense and very focused in the game. Yes, that, that's that's a good thing. And good luck. I really hope uh, that you will. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And qualify. I appreciate if you root for me. Absolutely. Yeah. I also root for uh, Vincent. Yes, so I root for course. the two of you. The others, one, uh, other ones, I don't care about. Okay. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you later. See you.